What is going on YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Guys, as you can see on your screen, we are currently 3-0 here in the All Madden second string division, hoping to make it 4-0. But I'm telling you guys, the All Madden divisions are significantly more difficult than the other divisions that I've played in. So it's not as easy as it might look. So we're going to head into this game here again. 3-0 currently on the season, feeling pretty confident, but on this first drive, not starting off very strong there with the run by Jeremy Hill. Second play, going to take a sack there with Mike Vick, uh, bringing up a third and 18. Now watch this. I've got my receiver here. That is Calvin Johnson. Oh, I thought he made the catch. That would have been amazing, but he dropped the pass, and that made us punt on the very next play. So now my opponent is on offense. He's trying to run the football, and he's going to do a very good job of it here early as he breaks a tackle there with Darren McFadden. Nice pick up there. Now two rushes for 22 yards for him at this point, and I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to be able to stop his running game. Thankfully, we do there for a decent stop there. Uh, trying to get the interception here, but that crossing pattern is very difficult to stop if you're in zone coverage. It's actually usually fairly effective. And then he is going to hit, I believe that's his tight end, kind of uh, a weird route there, but it came right in between the zone. So it did pick up a nice touchdown for him there. So he is up 7 0 after stopping me on my first drive and scoring on his first drive. Guys, I was really struggling in this one. But we finally made a beautiful pass there to Calvin Johnson. He held on to it this time. Big, big gain there. End of the first quarter here. And we're going to fire one in there to Luke Wilson, my backup tight end. That is rising star Luke Wilson. And he is going to pick up a nice first down to end the first quarter for us. Mike Vick now taken off there. Got out of bounds there. Tried to make it so that if I fumbled, the ball would at least go out of bounds. Next play, Calvin Johnson into the end zone. That post route cheese, the spec catch to Calvin Johnson. And we have tied this football game up now. And guys, he is going to start to throw streaks here. Yeah, Earl Thomas swats that one away. I want to try and play as conservatively as possible, not make bad mistakes. And I'm going to swat this one away as well with Antonio Cromartie this time. So feeling very good about the fact that I did not allow any deep passes on this drive so far. Screen pass, we play it very well. And my opponent's going to go for it on fourth down. I see the crossing pattern coming. And I tried to play it with my defensive tackle and Domicon Sue. He didn't quite make the play, but Keekly was able to knock the ball away. So we did get the ball now in the red zone of my opponent's defense and guys it's going to be a beautiful pass there by Mike Vick corner of the end zone to Brandon Marshall and guys we are up 14 to nothing now this game is definitely starting to turn around and look better for us but my opponent is back on offense he's still got two minutes left in the in the half all three of his timeouts he's gonna bomb it into coverage here tried to swat it away and we just couldn't do it Alshon Jeffrey with a beautiful one-handed catch those streaks are just so crazy man he I mean he threw it into coverage and still made the catch can't complain though. I mean, it's just the way that Madden is. Sometimes you've got to do it with your good receivers. But this time we make him pay. Taylor Mays, gotcha, bitch. He gets the interception and he is going to return this one to about the 20 yard line. Unfortunately, I was not able to do anything at the end of the half. So my opponent is going to get the ball back. Opening kickoff of the second half and he is going to get a huge return here to about the 50 yard line. That is just massive. Anytime that you get that kind of a kick return and I was a little bit flustered on defense. I can't lie after allowing that kick return. So we did allow a nice run on the next play, but thankfully we stopped him there. It's kind of interesting. I was either allowing big runs or stopping him for like zero yards for the most part in the running game. It was kind of an interesting setup that we had there between the two of us. Uh, but he's trying to throw these screen passes. And for the most part, they weren't working to his halfback. But he finally makes one work there to his wide receiver. I believe that's Calvin Johnson. And then the very next play, he is going to get into the end zone there with a run by his fullback. Guys, I am now struggling a little bit on defense, I have to admit it. And guys, we're just going to try and do our best to continue to put up points as best as we can. Unfortunately, we take a massive sack there. That contain is just working so well. Look how wide he's swinging out. Thankfully, this time we are going to take off with Vic, take a big hit, and thankfully we did not fumble. So that was huge for us. But unfortunately, the very next play, I decided to go for it on fourth down like a dumbass. But he got the interception on us. So uh, it was actually a net positive that he intercepted it for us. Because uh, if you would have just swatted away, he would have had better yardage. Uh, or a better field position, I should say. 
and you see JJ Watt there dropping the interception. I can't complain too much because it's JJ Watt in coverage, but I mean, that was pretty much right to him. Probably should have been an interception, but we're just going to continue to do our best here to try and move down the field here, guys. Now we're going to try and run the football here. Jeremy Hill breaking a tackle out of the backfield. Big, big game there, setting us up now at about the 45 yard line. Guys, look at the clock. The clock is starting to tick down here in the fourth quarter. We got 225 left. I want to make sure that if I score, that I'm going to get the ball back. We throw it into coverage. Completely a terrible pass. And Odell Beckham Jr., the golden ticket, comes up with it. Massive, massive play. Jeremy Hill continuing to run the football here. Third and four now, and we are going to convert again to Odell Beckham Jr. Golden ticket, Odell Beckham Jr., and that's when my opponent decided that he had had enough. He knew he wasn't going to get the ball back, and we are going to walk away with a win in this football game. Got lucky there with that pass to Odell Beckham, but hey, I need some luck to go my way occasionally when I throw the ball into coverage. I mean, my opponent had the same thing kind of happen to him at the end of the first half, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys again soon.